At the beginning of July, Karen Poli set a career high with a major CSI five-star win in the Progress Energy Cup competition in Spruce Meadows, Canada. The 25-year-old who competes for Japan beat a field of 55 top international athletes to clinch victory on her longtime partner with wings in an 18-rider horse jump-off. Earlier in the year, we visited Karen and her groom Steph in Florida, where we had the opportunity to find out more about this young woman, who only recently was heralded by many as one to watch. I was born in Tokyo. My parents were living there because my dad was working as an investment banker there. And then when I was six months old, we moved back to New York City for his work. And then I grew up there and I've lived there ever since. I started riding when I was seven years old. We had a country house in New Jersey and we used to drive by this little barn there every weekend and I just really wanted to try riding a pony. So I asked my parents to take me and from the first moment I sat on a horse I was hooked. It started out with one lesson uh, on Saturdays and then it turned into Saturday Sunday and then I started riding as much as I could. I went to an all-girls private school in New York City uh, from kindergarten through 12th grade. And after that, I went to Yale University where I studied economics. And I took a little bit of time off in, uh, here and there to focus on my riding, so I just graduated in December. As we've found out in the past, combining study and top-class riding does present problems for young athletes. It was very difficult because I was very serious as a student and also in my riding, and I wanted to do both really well. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I have to do everything perfectly. Uh, so I did put a lot of pressure on myself and it was difficult to balance at times and sometimes I really didn't get a lot of sleep but I wanted to do both really well so I just worked as hard as I could and tried to manage my time the best I could. Both of my parents have been supportive from day one. They've always just given me the best, like the best horses, the best training, they've done everything they could to get me here. Karen holds dual citizenship. Her dad is American, her mum Japanese. In 2014, she decided to make Japan her competitive nationality of choice. Three years ago, I decided to switch to ride for Japan. I was born in Japan and I've always been very close to my family in Japan, so I wanted to represent Japan and ride for Japan. Uh, and it also opened up a lot of opportunities for me to compete internationally. I think as a young rider who's up and coming and who has a really special horse, it's important to get into as many top shows as you can. And being from Japan opens up more doors to me than riding for the US, so I'm really glad that I did it. Karen talked there about a really special horse. Well, despite recently increasing her stable, her 14-year-old gelding with wings will always be close to her heart. When I first rode him, I just, I knew he was the right horse for me. I wanted to get him so badly. I was so excited about him. And I felt so comfortable, but also just so excited to get him and to jump him and to compete him and to progress with him. He has so much ability and he's a great athlete, but also he has the will to win and he wants to win and he wants to jump and I think he really enjoys his job. Like his attitude, his way of going, together we just, we rise to the occasion, or we try to. <laughs> I would absolutely describe him as my once in a lifetime horse. One important member of Karen's team is her friend and groom, Steph Goldenberg. I've worked with Steph for six years now, and she's been by my side and my biggest supporter for since day one. And I'm really, really lucky to have someone like her who takes such good care of my horses that I don't have to worry about them, and who's also just there for me at the in gate when I go in the ring and when I come out of the ring, she's the first face I see, so it's really special. I think she has a great relationship with Wing. They know each other really well, and they just have a good way of working together. A Brazilian legend, now Ireland's chef to keep, is also playing a key role in Karen's development. I started working with Rodrigo Pessoa in October at the LA Masters. Uh, so our first show together was at a five star. And I really, really enjoy training with him. I like uh, the way he teaches me and how he helps me improve my riding and wings is jumping. But at the same time, he's not super intense about it, which is helpful to me because I get very intense myself, so someone who's a little bit more lighthearted about it is really good, I think a good match for me. I think we have a really good relationship and also just to learn from someone who has as much experience as he does is really just a great experience for me. If Karen's astonishing progress continues, then her dream of competing in the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games will become a reality.
The Olympics in general is a huge goal, but then to be home team is probably, I mean, a lot of athletes don't get that opportunity in their lifetime, so I, that is the biggest goal in my life. I am determined. I get intense sometimes. If I have something I want to achieve, I'll stop at nothing to achieve it, and I try my best to achieve everything I set my uh, sights on. That determination is paying dividends for Karen in 2017. The first Japanese rider to win a Grand Prix at Wellington, a first ever five-star victory, and a first win in the international ring at Spruce Meadows. Watch this space, this charismatic youngster is certainly going places.